Hey, hey, welcome back to the B stream. We have Rado and Mr. Yakut up in the winners bracket. Is it the winners? Yeah, I think it's the winners. Oh, okay. Rado, he beat. Um, who did he beat? <laughs> no, question. That's a good question. I know that Mr. Yakut beat uh, Nostam with some crazy yucks. Oh, and wait, it was the layer. Oh, it was the layer, yeah, that's right. He free out with, uh, with Shu against the Slime now. Uh, the classes we see from Rado is Druid, Shaman, Warlock, Voyeur, where the Voyeur got banned from Mr. Yagut, and from Mr. Yagut brought Druid, Shaman, Warlock, Voyeur. So, let's see. What's the reason of the Voyeur bans, do you think, from Mr. Yagut? Uh, because of the Voyeur ban. Mm. Shaman, Warrior, Druid. So it means that he's playing a Yog Druid. Yeah, most likely. That's yeah, the know. Shaman is going to be Agra, most probably. And the Warrior. It's kind sure of Dragon Warrior. warrior yeah, probably. Dragon Warrior. I will assume since he bans the Warrior. Oh, yeah. Kind of look at that. And Radu? Did he ban the Warlock? Yeah, he said he didn't like this Su Mirror and he thinks he can free o everyone with Su <laughs> as long as he doesn't get the Mirror. So I think he's really, really confident with the Su deck and just don't want to face the Mirror. Maybe he's not playing C Giant or anything else. Maybe Su deck is not like. Focus on beating other Su decks. But what can you say about the players? Well, what is like Radu's normally play style? Uh, Radu, he's playing, he's like the most popular Zulak player. Yeah. But the Druid, I'm not really sure. Like, he doesn't really play it. But he's uh, like the, uh, the most popular Romanian player. Yeah, he plays a lot of bot centric aggro decks normally. Uh, he, like, he really likes the Su and like, and Tempo Mage and. Or like with the face shaman and so on. Okay, now it makes sense why Yagut just banned the warrior. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a key warrior. I see him playing it a lot on his stream. Oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't tried out the deck, but it's really, really powerful. Yeah, it is. Like, the meaning with the deck is to draw a lot of cards and then burst your opponent down from yeah, 30 mm. HP. But what about this, this matchup? Mm. I actually haven't played a lot of OTK warrior. No? Yeah, so we don't really know about the percentage. No, the but thing I think that the Druids are going to be favorite in this matchup. Yeah, they really need to put on Temple because they can't block the burst. The only most York Druid is only playing one turn, and that's Ace of War. Mm -hmm. So it's like they need to make pressure. So force Mr. Yagut to use Execute and set up Lethal because if the Warrior gets enough time, they can just burst him down. So it's like it's it's a Temple game. It's the they need like. The Druid needs to set up pressure to win the game. Okay. This is a weird, weird bad hand for Mr. Gun. <laughs> he needs to set up his battle rate somehow. He needs card draw. Ludhor was a nice top deck, I think. And as here we see Rado sets up the Embra. Which, yeah, his hand is still a little awkward. He needs some really good combi card with the Violet Chicha and the Fendral, I think. Yeah, it's funny. The Gun doesn't have any answer right now. Oh, that's true as well. Oh. Yeah, but he's not gonna have any answer, so he's searching for it. Blood Traker doesn't help. Yes, he didn't get it. Do you Acolyte Blood Traker here, or what do you do? Yeah, by Acolyte. Yeah. Needs to draw cards. But this yep. is really, really, really scary. Like, imagine, imagine Radu get a Nourish now. Oh, oh, he doesn't have enough mana. But more card draw would be nice. White Groove. Hmm. Like, how much do you spec the Acoline? Mm, I'd probably mulch it. You mulch it? Yeah, yeah. because like, uh, the only like the big minions in Yagut's deck, the Emperor, and that's basically it. Yeah, I actually also really like the mulch, yeah. On this, you want to develop more board, but you don't need to do that. It's like, you could just mulch hero power. I don't think you want to use Vigro since you already got so much reduced. You need it for card draw later. Mm. But it's still really, really slow just to. Mulch the Acolyte here. Yeah. yeah, just mulch and hero power. Yeah, agreed. And go face with the Emperor? Yeah, of course. Just yeah. The only <laughs> scary thing about going face with the Emperor is that it's easier for Mr. Good to like activate his battle rages. But he needs to be he needs to kill him. So five damage for face is definitely oh, relevant. No but it's it's a difficult turn for Radu, so I understand that he thinks about it. He well develops a board. And goes face. Yeah, I actually don't like this play. No, because this now Mr. Yago can draw a lot of cards. Yeah, and easier. Draw the cards. 
and yeah. also get the board control. And after that, uh, Radu is not going to come back to the board. Like the only minion which he has right now is the friend roll. Mm. Then just having just one minion on the board. Yeah, I don't like this play armor. Yeah, especially having an Emperor. He could have had such a huge game breaking turn. It's not even that important to put the free five on the board because he got his hand reduced, he can just play all the minions later. It's like the freedom is not there with him. Yeah, that's right. Do you use the whirlwind here before battle rage or do you battle rage first? Mm. It's like you can play execute now. But oh you can still kill the Emperor, so it's maybe not Yeah, I like this. <laughs> I actually use the commanding shout. That's gonna be huge as well. Yeah, with the commanding shout you just buff the acolyte. Oh no, you don't really get that rate. And three six. Will he overdraw? No. Yeah, will, right? Mm, three, six, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna overdraw. Over so it. yeah, commanding sound would probably have been better here. Yeah, commanding sound would definitely. He yeah. couldn't use any eraser because it's important for the combo. Now let's say he like uses faceless or something mm -hmm. important for the combo. It can <laughs> be really yeah, devastating. Oh, we see Harrison Jones in York Druid. It's really, really rare. I see Harrison Jones. I really don't like the take card right now. It's like. It's good against the Doomhammer, of course, but right. the Vorex is mostly the only one charge you get from it. I'm just really interested what kind of cards he, what kind of card he's gonna discard next turn. If he's gonna discard the charge, yeah, yeah the oh charge. the charge is he even him. Oh, he got the face in him. Yeah, the charge is really, really. Let's see if he gets punished. Oh, it's getting scary. <laughs> I guess he hopes he discards some card draw or something irrelevant. He right goes here. I don't know, it's like if you top the extra Norris, it makes it better to right go here. Mm -hmm. But it's also, w it's a really long time to turn 10 before you can get the card draw. Yeah, don't really want to overextend the board. Mm, didn't, don't really like the wild growth. Mm, it doesn't do much. Yeah, uh, Master, it's actually huge. Not that huge compared to all. Yeah, but uh, Yagut is not gonna have any board clears. Like with uh, the Pyro Master, he actually gets the board clears. And right now, he doesn't have any mechanics to clear the board. Yeah. Commanding Shell by Pyro Master is one of the yeah. strongest board clears. Also, one of the reasons that OTK Wong is really good against Shu and some other Echo decks. But this seems good. It's really, really important to get the Fendral out of the board. Rado has a really, really hard time to put up pressure. Like, really, really strong pressure against the warrior. The land yeah, for seeing the Pyromancer discard, Rado just goes real offensive. No traits. He's, he's keeping Harrison, so he's really expecting the Fury. Coming up next turn, I guess. Yeah, but like the free and two two is small on board as well. No, sure. Oh, it's the same. It's just worse against whirlwinds. Says so Mr. Yagut, you don't really have any good plays right now, so you just probably shield block and try to dig into the deck and just try to find the second fire monster, I guess. Yeah, and probably play the box to clear some of the board. I guess he's scared of uh, Savage Raw. A lot of Token Druids is playing Savage Raw. Yeah. So, so he wants to reduce the board. Oh, oh he, he decides to play him, but how much damage is that next turn, actually? He doesn't have charge. Oh yeah, that's right. And he could actually be dead right now because of uh, Savage It was gonna be 5 for 8. Yeah, Savage Roar. He needs 8 damage. Yeah, just Savage Roar. It would have been lethal. Yeah, 2 swipes. Yeah, but he's lucky because Radu doesn't have the Savage Roar. Is he gonna try to find it? Ah, the march. Forgot about the march. <laughs> he maybe takes eight armor here to play. I am ready to learn. No, uh, oh, oh, it does. He goes for the armor. So yeah. is Yagut gonna get the charge? This charge even leads on him. Three, six. And he's gonna discard one more card. The rage isn't that big. Chill block, try to find. He needs a white pyromancer, I think. Oh, no, it's like a bit of yeah, the pyromancer. Sure. Is it just dead now? 
He can use commanding shot as well to draw. It's like a shield block. <laughs> kind of lucky. 5, 8, and 10, 11, 12. Yep, he's gonna be alive. Oh, he got a chest now. He still needs to play a card. Mm -hmm. He can't armor up, right? Oh, he, he, freeze. He can just use. Oh no, the commander shot's not gonna work. So probably the axe, but he's afraid that he's gonna die. Well, how much damage does he have? Maybe he doesn't care about the chop deck if he has enough damage in hand. Walking. So Radu, he's gonna need to find 5 damage. Yep, if he's gonna armor up, then the swipe is not gonna kill. Uh, yep, swipe is not gonna kill him. But how much damage does Mr. Yugood have? Like, can he kill him next turn? With the, the combo? gonna be enough, yep. 5 turn. It's a lot. Never. So swipe, savage or is gonna be this one. Yeah, recently I haven't played the OTK Warrior, so I don't really know how much damage is gonna be. No, no. I remember it was 42, something like that. The maximum? Yeah. Yep, the no, maximum. that's even more than 42. It's over 50, the maximum damage. No. Yeah, we're still in the... Two innovation cool yeah. house master. But I assume this master you could have Lita now, since he didn't use any cards. But no, he can't have Lita now. Like, need to count. <laughs> in reach 5, 10. That's the reason that I don't play OTK Bogen. I don't like... <laughs> you counting. don't like I didn't play Patreon Alan. So, uh, fucking... I hate the uh, KSK. So I believe it's about 32. So why now? What do you think that Mr. Yagut gonna pick into the Druid? He got Shaman and Druid. Shaman Druid. Shaman Warlock. Oh. Oh, this. It's not the right one. Oh, yeah. He can always go for the Druid Mirror. I heard Mr. Yagut got some crazy Yags mm -hmm. last game. Yeah. Then just pick Druid. Change now, change him to Yakut. <laughs> I don't know. I'm yeah. also curious about the Shaman, what kind of Shaman he's playing. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Conceit Shamans in this tournament so far. Yeah. <laughs> he might be using the same one. Yeah. I don't know. What, how do you feel about the Echo Shaman versus Druid? Echo Shaman versus Druid? I think it's like 50 50. Depends on what kind of early draws. Uh, okay. both he both decides to yeah. pick the Shaman. <laughs> yeah. The Druid will need the Innovates with Ala, Vile Teacher, or Fendril to get the Temple with some tokens. No, it's it's an aggro shaman. Yeah, it's full smart. Do you like keeping the feral spirit? No, not really. Yeah, because you really want to get if the. If he had belt. another one drop, I liked it more. Like oh, if yeah, true. It's a really, really bad hand from Rano. Oh, just got way better. <laughs> Why <Wycroft>. grow? <laughs> Not what you're looking for. The fire blast. That's yeah, for that's sure. But what's the best hero power you know? Do you like life tap against? Against Druid? Yeah, life tap seems reasonable. Yeah, but that's, yeah. Like Same. the best one is going to be the life tap, then it's going to be the hunter. Yeah, and then the Druid because of Doomhammer. Sometimes the Druid is even better than the hunters. Yeah, that's true. So Radu gets a really good starting hand after, get, uh, after drawing the Wild Growth. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's gonna play Minekeeper into additional mana, or he's just gonna summon the 2-2. Two -two. I think he's gonna take the additional mana. The 2-2 two -two doesn't do anything on board, and he has Snowy's in hand, so the mana crystal is relevant. Yeah, especially with having Nourish in the yes. hand. Okay, please. Yeah. So I think he's gonna take the mana. The and he does. And it, it's interesting that he's playing Harrison his deck, so he probably got the second break. Yeah, most likely. That's the most reasonable card. Oh, the best top deck you can get. <laughs> so just as you take living root clear. Do you want to just play the flame juggler? If yeah. you're gonna hit it, then you just kill it with your face. If not, you go then face. 
Yeah, it's just go face. I think you're not capable of trading. So Let's even if you hits. miss... Oh yeah, okay. so just now trade with the face. Yeah, now you trade with the melee. No, he's actually keeping the rock meter for the doom hammer. Yeah, I like think this. the board control, uh, they didn't, don't feel like it because you don't have the doom hammer right now and you just want to establish the uh, board control. Mm. I mean like three minutes, he's probably playing against the swipe, uh, top, not against the swipe. Because it was a three mana minion, uh, three house minion, and swipe wouldn't, wouldn't have killed, killed it. No, it wouldn't have did that much. Okay, tries to set up the Nyx Chef next turn most likely. I guess you play the Feral Spirit, right? Yeah, Feral Spirit is better. And do you I even play Art and Scry or do you play Hero Power here? Next turn you have 4 mana, so you can play. Yeah, if you decided to be. No, no, still hasn't decided yet. It's the same amount of damage, most likely. I don't think Rado can play Onyxia here. He needs Stripe. Azure Dirk Stripe is still really, really bad. There will still be 3 million support. It's a really, really dire situation for the Druid. Yeah, dealing with 3 health minions is really difficult for the Druid. Yeah, but I think you still have to go for Onyxia. Like this way. You think? Yeah, yeah, good to With 10 damage on board and 3 cards in hand? I wouldn't oh, do that. <laughs> it's like only 5 damage from a. Face shaman. It's too risky. 7-7 seven, seven is always good. The only problem about for Mr. Yagut's point of playing Mr. S playing the 7-7 seven, seven is that he can lose a lot of tempo if Rado got mulch in hand. No, oh yeah. He actually has mulch. Yeah. So how much damage does he have? If he has six, okay, put him down on nine. There's no no way he's gonna trade here, right? Never. I don't think he ever will trade in the actual tricks. I'm not sure if I like the horse rider, Scryer, more than the 7-7. Seven seven. No. I think this is more resistant to more things. I like this. Don't worry, loves. The here. Yeah, I think this is really, really good play for Mr. Just get him. 2-5-7. Seven se <laughs> seven. No, 5-10. That's huge. huge. Hmm. So just play the down and probably just heal power. Yeah, but do you heal power the 2-1? Yep, you're supposed to. You're just playing Could I to lag the burst hero power? But I guess you can't play around that. From oh, it decides to. To march, to one. Yeah. I don't mind it. From oh, Rado. Wow. <laughs> from Rado. Oh. <laughs> wow. Didn't play around that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. So 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but now RG is just gonna pick the Zillog to face against Shaman. Yeah, it's really good. So we're gonna yeah, pick the two into the Dream, not into the Shaman. See what happens. Yep, there goes the Zulak. So far, that's 100% win rate in this tournament for Rado. So. This he threw all the first opponent? Yeah, with the Su against yeah. LA. He's also really, really confident with the deck. Yeah, he definitely is. But I don't know what kind of take cards because there's so many different Su variants you can play. Oh yeah, with the uh, Doomguards and... Doomguards, CGI yeah. and D-Roy and so on. That's even the new Susum, like, Sixo play oh, at yeah. Star Ladder. Yeah, but right now, our deuce hand is just insane. Like, three one drops with the Night Juggler and the Forbidden Ritual. Yeah. It's really, really strong. And a good s is missing turn two. He needs a Lightning Ball. Oh, Abusive is actually yeah. fine. Fight, Scary. Mm, this is a little awkward. Do you ever play Forbidden Ritual here? Yeah, I'd probably go for that. Because of the next turn, you're gonna get the Knife Juggler and the Squire. Yeah. Seems good. So 
so the Totsum Golem from this car is gonna be really game breaking, I guess. Yeah, you can also play Ferris, but it depends if you really want to play a 7 cent on turn 4 against Shu. Yeah, but you could play the Barrel Spirit, so right now you just have the option of just hero powering from yeah. turn 4, which isn't that good. So, yeah. This play is better. Yeah, the Night Jaguar with the in gun. Uh, what was it? Flaming. Yeah, Flaming. And can clear the board, most likely, just to hit one of them. And it does. It's really, really scary to have a knife juggler, up, even if you play 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, and right now, if he's gonna play the faceless, he's gonna cost 4 mana, but Radu is just gonna remove it with 2 mana, with yeah. 1 mana spell. Exactly. Gain a sick amount of tempo. Yeah. Squire is gonna be needed in their late game, especially if uh, Yagut is gonna play the Doomhammer. But he still plays Squire now. Easy turn. Mm, the wolf is actually good. So no, I guess it's better. Just have to hit one of them, right? Oh, <laughs> never lucky. <laughs> but he's still in really, really good position to win the game. There's no reason to hit. No, there's no reason. Trick. Oh, it's so probably tap and the wolf with the power PO. Yeah, just the free. Just keep just keep developing the board control. Maybe he's thinking not about tapping because he got Doom Garden hand. I wonder. But I still like tapping, right? Yeah, I like tapping. Yeah, the next turn he's just gonna play the Doom Guard. Yeah. Possessive was a really, really nice top deck as well. So what does Mr. Yakut need to get back in the game? Uh, I'm not sure if he's running any AoEs. Like Elemental Destruction? I've seen some. Elemental Destruction. The second AoE. I forgot the name of the call. The Lightning Sword. Oh, the Lightning Sword. Yeah. And probably Doomhammer is gonna also work. Pit that doesn't really matter. No, he prefers a life tap. So Makes sense. Me. It's only a 2 2 body for 2 mana. It's not that good. I guess a card is more relevant. And just smoke. The Arden Squire is really, really annoying for Mr. Eggwood. To get through. Hero power sound. That's it. Maybe pink the Divine Shell. Getting the town totem isn't that bad, especially if he's gonna draw the blue hammer the next turn. Yeah. But Radu, he's playing Gormok. <laughs> Interesting. With the version with Doomguard. You don't like that? I actually like it because I'm playing the Gormok myself. Yeah. And just face. So the, last deck, the last deck is going to be Druid. Yeah. Are you kind of disappointed that Mr. Yakut didn't bring Rogue? No, oh, yeah. I'm definitely disappointed about that. Yeah, I because if, if Mr. Yakut doesn't bring Rogue, like, no people will bring Rogue, right? Because it's like his signature class. Yeah, true. If Yakut doesn't bring Rogue, it means that the class, the class is, is dead, bad. right? In Not that it's really bad. Yeah. Since he's a really, really, really good Rogue player. He just chose to pick, like, the four best classes, like most people do. So what do you think? What kind of druid is going to be? No, the Yog druid. Yeah, he was had some insane Yog last series I heard against the Nasta. So he's really, really good with Yog druid. And the hand it looks looks pretty bad without the wild growths. No, not the wild growth without the inner weights. Yeah, but living root at turn one is always nice. And also, Isnafo is really, really good against the uh, Sue. Do you like the ooze tech from Rano? Mm. Like some people like mm -hmm. Crystal Alchemist and some people like Ooze, it's like the tech card at turn 2. 
Yeah, but with his strategy, he's probably banning just Warlocks and he's just leaving the Warriors alone. Oh, not alone. He's gonna be facing Warriors, so yeah, attacking uh, those seems reasonable. Yeah, but the hand from Radu. I'm not sure what he decided. Oh, he decided to save the coin for the 3 drop for the Guns command. And the start is gonna be real offensive. Like, real aggressive, I mean. Yeah. He's gonna play the Constable, and then he's gonna play the three one drops. Mr. So Quick got a nice answer by Mulch. The one five. But still, next turn is gonna be really, really good for Rano. Oh, Prophet Villain. <laughs> There's no way he can use this, right? Unless he gets like uh, the two one heal from Pitla. Two four heal, I can't remember the name. No, oh, yeah, I forgot the name of the card as well. You just play free run drops now. Oh, do you play it? No, you don't play Juggler. Well, in general, what do you think about this matchup? It's like favorite it. for Zoo. Favorite for Zoo. Yeah. Because Druid uh, needs to get really good answers. And really fast start. Yeah, and Yaku just decides to play Fendral and is just gonna die. It's like one of the best uh, minions in the deck. Yeah. So he's not getting the value from the card. Gonna hit it. Oh, that's nice. And now another awkward tune for me, Mr. Yakut. Yeah, for turn 5, do one play just Nourish, but if you play it, you're just so behind. Yeah, do, do you even ramp or do you draw cards? Like, what do you need to get back in the game? You need swipes. Oh, he, he decides to take a spell instead. Yeah, but he, he's not gonna get the Wrath or. I mean, the swipe is not gonna be that beneficial right now. So probably just. Wrath and kill the wolf. Oh, Starfall. Is that good? Starfall would be. Yeah, it's an earlier. It would have been much better. I guess you can take Starfall and play two powerful while this turn just to get just to gain four life because the Warlock mm -hmm. would trade into them. It just feels really, really bad. So he decided to go with the Starfall. Yeah, and hope that Radu sets up a bad board for Starfall. Do you want to play the 3 2? The yeah, I think, power? I think I have. To, I think I would just make two free twos almost. Nah, maybe only one. Yeah, I think just one. Yeah, because it's, it's gaining two life, actually. No one. He decides to play two. Yeah, and Yagut already used uh, the mulch, so he's not going to be able to deal with the Doom Guard. No. I think he relies on. He can still always draw York, right? Or win that way. Oh, yeah. So, either way to York. <laughs> oh, it feels really, really bad to play Doom Guard here. Yeah, but. You just played. <laughs> yeah. And Yakut actually decided to play two three twos. Two one? Three twos. Minions. Yeah. He decided it's to play two minions. Instead of hero power. He's just trying to setting up the yard. Use more spells. He's gonna the knife jacket is gonna hit the minion. He's gonna kill it. Oh, some really, really nice jaguar from Rado. If it didn't hit, we would just still go face Ryan. Yeah. I think so. So the star file isn't that beneficial right now. He's doing nothing. I think he's gonna be down to 8. He needs a war. No, he already got war. He can just play the war next turn. And hopefully stabilize a little. And the alchemist would have been much better than the Ooze right now. Yeah. Around his PO or something. The Bursif is decent. But he has to clear his entire board to kill a 5 turn. Would you go for that? I'd probably just play the Ooze and uh, Squire. That's it. Without probably trading. If he, had, he might actually trade with. Uh, Why? Because you want the PO for next turn or something? Yeah, just try to dig for the PO. I don't know if there's any ball clear that can punish you for doing that. He goes for the clear strat instead. The light protects me. This is really, really weak to strike. Guess you're idle into strike. <laughs> Starfall does the same thing. Yeah, you have to start for clear.
Okay, but they are good stabilize, kinda. <laughs> so just kinda. Forbidden ritual is nice. Yeah, but the Yakut, he hasn't used any swipes, so if he's gonna play Nourish... Oh, oh he's gonna, gonna, gonna praise go the Yak. I oh hope way. he's gonna play the Yak. He c it's likely that we get a strike from the Nourish. I right? think Nourish is much better. It's really likely that you're gonna get swipe. But it's also really likely that you're gonna clear the board with your his oh, fire. there you go. Demon fire. How many spells did he use? Not that many. I think round six. Explosive trap is really good. Oh! Got nice. him! <laughs> <laughs> Rado's triggered. <laughs> he's gonna be so triggered when he's gonna realize it's uh, an explosive trap. Yeah. But he's gonna have little unless. Diago is gonna find something. Uh, like Wrath is gonna find This is uh, little, like he could just living roots. Savage Raw. Put him down on. Put him down two. <laughs> he can still win though, he just need Pitla into life gain. <laughs> That's the key. Pitla into life gain, one time. Never. Oh! No. That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Yogg decides games. Yeah, Yogg won him the game. 2016. Do you think Rado is going to be really triggered after he's, after he's going to realize it? He actually realizes that the next that this is an explosive trap right now. Yeah. He's thinking. <laughs> yeah, but he already he, he's like considering to play all minions if it's misdirection, I guess. Yeah, but the way Yagut played, he just showed that yeah, it's an explosive trap. Yeah, he did play it fast. But he's still thinking if it's misdirection and so on. That's the reason they place those minions. Oh yeah, he, he can don't attack and just hope to... Yeah, that makes sense actually. Not attacking and hope you get 4 minions for next turn. So 12 cards left. Roots, 2 swipes. Oh, he decided to attack. Wouldn't that be better actually? Nah, it's really unlikely. Yeah, you you need Forbidden swipes. Ritual. But Forbidden Ritual is not even enough because you can only spawn 4 minions. And the Drew can just heal power up. So there's no way, right? Because unless Mr. Yagut killed the ball. Okay, the final game is Rado Shaman versus Mr. Yagut Drew. I must protect the wild. Hmm. This hand is really good. Do you just keep it all? I'll probably keep everything. I'm not sure about the living roots. Like, the Raven Idol. I'm not sure about the Raven Idol though, because a two oh, he goes really? full mall again. He really yeah. wants the anyway. He wants to win the game now. But I'm not sure. It's it's a really greedy mod again to remove everything from that. So he just got wrath. That's it. He could have used the Raven Idol to search the for the wild growth. The and anyway, it's just way yeah. worse with the coin. I think. Do flame tongue here? Normal yeah. totem or flame tongue to get the wife, uh, wrath from Yago. This is this also makes sense because it would buff the truck, and now with the feather spirit, flame tongue is really really good. This is like one of the best curves that Rado can get. Yeah, but I'm not sure about playing the Feral Spirits because I would have probably played the Flame Sound and after that just played the Faceless because Yago just has just one mulch in his deck. Yeah, I see that. Mr. Yago would have a really hard time to deal with those Flame Tunes with him after he used his red. Like, he can't use Living Root. No, Starfall. Do you mulch here to kill the flame tongue? No way, right? It feels bad. But I guess he had to. Oh, Ronin. <laughs> it can be huge. 
Okay, Mr. Yakut needs another Yog to get back in this game. I don't, I'm not really sure I can get to that point. So if Key's gonna play the Emperor, how much life is he gonna have left? Central. Eight, nine, he's dead. 11, oh yeah, he's dead. So Rao gonna take it as 3-2. Yeah. And go through to Mo. Win the group. Yeah, congratulations, Rado. Playing all the bot centric smog decks, as we know. Uh, next game is it's gonna be Nelstam versus Selay in the lower bracket. And then they're gonna face Mr. Good in the deciding game. Yes, but congratulations, Rado. So, like, the Yog couldn't save. Yeah, but at least he saved one game. Mm, I guess. Yeah, but this game he didn't get to in race to play Yog. <laughs> That's true, he couldn't even survive to turn 5 or 6. <laughs> but, like, it was solid plays mostly from other players, I think. I think there was no any mistakes and so on. Big. Yep, sure. So, really, really solid plays. Yes. See you guys later.